Here's how you can add this dynamic typewriter effect to your website using only CSS. So we have our text, and first we want to create the blinking cursor that will move as it types. To do this, we need to add a solid border at the end of our div using the border right property. And then to make it flash in and out, we need to use keyframes to animate the border from transparent to blue. So we'll set the start and finish as transparent, and then we'll set the midway point at 50% to blue. To get this animation started, we then need to add the animation property to our class. We'll set the speed and we'll also have it flashing infinitely. So now we need to animate the cursor so that it looks like it's typing out our welcome message. To do this, we'll add another keyframe, which will go from a starting width of zero to our end width of 100%. And this will reveal our text. So now we'll add the animation property to our class, setting the speed and direction of the animation. Now you might be wondering, hold on, that doesn't look right. And this is because we need to use the white space property to make sure that the text doesn't wrap so that it all stays on one line. And then next, we'll use the overflow property to hide the text that shouldn't be revealed until the cursor's moved past it. And now you can see that the text is revealed as our cursor moves to the right. However, it still doesn't look quite right as no one types that smoothly. So this is where we can add the steps value to the animation. This breaks it down into segments rather than showing it as one smooth animation. And that's how easy it is to create this dynamic typewriter effect using only CSS.